morning, everyone. It is a lovely day here in Colorado. I don't know why I am so tired today, but um, anyways, yeah, we have a super cloudy day, which I'm living for because we actually have to um, go clean out a bit. And then, I'm, well, I'm gonna be hauling out corn, Trevor's gonna be cleaning the bin. So we kind of need it to be a little bit nicer, you know, or else it's just gonna be <laughs> probably miserable, but when we looked at the forecast, it looks like every day is going to get a little cooler, which I'm super excited. I love, like, I don't really like the hot, hot, nor do I like the cold, but as long as it's like in the 80s, 70s, I'm like all game for it. It's like my favorite time ever. So anyways, yeah, we'll be hauling corn and cleaning out bins today. So I thought I'd take you guys along. So we were actually doing the same thing yesterday, but... <laughs> My lips were very chapped, which you guys will probably see once I like edit and upload that video, which might be before this or after this one. And I also forgot snacks, but today I did remember to bring snacks, which is basically these Lara bars or whatever, which are pretty dang good, not gonna lie. They're not like yummy, but keeps you full. And <laughs> Cheetos. <laughs> so that's the snacks I got today. There wasn't really much that I had to choose from. So I was gonna stop to get a Red Bull, but really need to knock it off with them energy drinks um yeah it's not good i used to drink a lot of red bulls because dad and i would long haul and a lot of the trips would be like i think we only had one over 20 hours but like they'd be around like 16 to 20 hours long and you'd drive like through the night and i was not used to it for a hot minute i got used to it but then it was like whatever um so dad had no mercy on me he's like hammer down girl I don't know what you're talking about I'm like okay so I obviously had to get like a lot of energy from somewhere so it was coffees and energy drinks yeah so I was going to pre-trip the truck and turn it on but someone already did that for me so <laughs> we're gonna go park and we'll head out all right we're on the road well not technically but we're getting there let's just say so on our way to the bins <laughs> I don't know I don't know if you guys can tell but literally being on a truck is my favorite thing ever which is literally this one 
I'd say is like half a mile away for that. So you really don't even get up to speed. Um, but anyways, yeah, better get going. Okay, we made it back to the bin and Trevor actually found my hair tie, which I'm very thankful because it was a little windy. Um, sounded like a nice truck. <laughs> it was a little windy and like the little, I don't know, what are they called? Like the little, ah, what is it called? Like these fluffies or furries or like snowflakes, but like cornflakes, I don't know, something like that gets in between my hair. Oh, it's just hard to get it out when I'm showering. So I always like to kind of have it tied up. So we're back, I'm getting loaded. Trevor's in the bin, which I should probably go watch him. He's sweeping it, sweeping it down. And I think two more loads out of here and then we should be good. A line right at like the truck hub. Actually, Trevor taught me this trick. To mark like a line right there. And then once it gets to your steps, basically you should be like in between the next few little bars on your trailer. It's a cool trick for anybody who's loading out of the bin. And you don't have to like go forward, go back to like get it right centered in between the two little um, bars, I believe they're called, in the trailer. Basically, couldn't 
auger it up. I don't know. So anyways, I was here for like four hours. And I was like, you know what? Because dad's like, you think you can do six loaves today? I was like, heck yeah, I can. What are you thinking? <laughs> and then um, I spoke too soon because on the first one, oh yeah, it was like a freaking mess of a day. Like the first one, um, first load, I think I was here for two hours. So yeah. Anyways, whatever. chilling here of course I'm like the last truck um so there was like a few questions that were asked in my previous video like the main one was which I didn't think you guys would realize yet is I changed the name of the channel now that's just for safety reasons um I did find like two other farm channels three farm channels that are like pretty big on YouTube and um they were talking about how someone showed up to their farm and stuff like that and I was like that is definitely not okay like what the heck so I kind of wanted to make this channel a little more private like I'm so happy to be sharing like all this stuff with you guys but um after that I was I don't know it kind of like freaked me out I didn't want to make videos anymore <laughs> so yeah just so we're all clear um nobody like I mean nobody is allowed to come near the farm or near any any one of us. Like I know my channel is not big, <laughs> so it's like, whew, I need to sneeze. Um, I know it's not like a big following or whatever, but I just kind of want to say it now is that nobody is welcomed or allowed to any of our private homes or farm or whatever. I think I said that on my last video on the intro, but I want to make it very very clear um trespassing is trespassing second someone asked why i love nebraska because we went to the lake this weekend and it was in nebraska so my dad and i used to haul a lot of pigs to eastern nebraska all the dang time and we kind of we wouldn't hit the i-80 we'd go like on the lower highways i guess you could call them call them and um it was just like gorgeous like I don't know there was like the time where it was like everything was so green the fields were like amazing um what else we like discovered this little shortcut or whatever and it was like this small little road but it was amazingly gorgeous i don't know nebraska and then it always has the most beautiful sunsets every single time that i've like gone and come back like i always catch the nicest sunsets ever i've always met like the nicest people too which is um very weird because in colorado it's either like a hit or miss. You get either really nice people or like, oh my gosh. Like, don't even look their direction. So, yeah. And I'm from Wyoming. And in Wyoming, people are very freaking friendly. Like, it doesn't matter if they know you or not. They're like, super nice. So, I don't know. That's why I love Nebraska. So, there's that. <laughs> We're almost done with the bin. And I think that's going to be our last load. I don't know. I actually don't know because it's barely 12. So we might actually just be going to the ethanol after this one. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to jam out a little bit. I'm sorry for this extremely long chit chat, but it makes my time go by really quick. <laughs> Talking to myself, of course. So, yeah. Time with okay. The bin is cleaned out. I am uh, not even halfway loaded. So I'm going to go weigh what I have, which is literally a quarter of like the trailer. So, anywho, we're done with that bin though. Now, that bin's going to be used for obviously upcoming corn harvest, which should be in another month or so.
I think someone fell through and just drove into the building. It is officially our last load, Woo! which I'm a little winded. The tarp keeps, keeps getting stuck, and I don't know what it keeps getting stuck on. Uh, but besides that, I'm happy to be done. Now we just gotta go load up. Oops. My video is probably gonna get copyrighted now, dang it. Um, go load and just leave it loaded for tomorrow. And yeah, I'm a little winded. That tarp, and I don't know why it gets stuck. <sighs> oh, I'm done. Great way to end the day. I'm gonna go get loaded. I got myself a little Oreo milkshake from the gas station.